Welcome back everyone to our Scouts of Entertainment 3rd Age Reforce 3v5 Siege Battle Replay today at Moria. I am Mick here of Scouts of Entertainment here. Glad to have you here with me today. And before we get started, if you want to see your own replay feature here on this channel, there are four ways of doing it. My email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. Send them to me directly via direct message or private chat on Discord. Joining my Discord server Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post your replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel on the Discord. Or or just tagging me in any Third Age Reforged replay you post on the Third Age Reforged Discord as well. And with that, let's get underway today. So, if you guys want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and help this video get out there into the world, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe of course if you haven't already, tick that bell for notifications so you never miss a fight, and leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. Now, today's replay is brought to you by Mac, who's commanding the Dwarves of Erebor. I believe he's commanding the artillery piece today, the Catapult. His ally here is Lothorian, commanded by Hidden. And Numenor, coming by Modexus. All familiar names here today. We've got some Lauren Axemen here. Looks to be a couple units there, in fact. Lauren Spearmen, some Airball Legionnaires standing by each side. Iron Foot Axe Sowers, Iron Foot Crossbows there, Pharaohs and Stormmasters, Siren Amoth Rangers. We've got some uh, Belega Pikemen over here. Lauren Archers is stationed and ready. Iron Foot Crossbows. Looks like it might be saving the Rangers when the attackers try to cross the bridge here, so that's a challenge for them. In light of all that firepower that the defenders can bring to bear, the attackers, if they move hard and fast, maybe try and get up this ramp could be the way to go for the attackers on this side. We'll have to wait and see, of course. We have some Ironfoot Halberds here, some Mounted Company in Arab or in Moria. Very strange place to see cavalry. Ironfoot Wargates also. Very weird. Dwarven Miners here, they're just going to hold the enemy back for a little while. Now, up here, further inside the city, we'll go over here, so be careful with the camera and all that. We got here some Gladrian Blade Masters. We got some Riders of the Golden Wood, again Calvary. Spears of the Wood. Blade Masters armored up. Lauren Warriors here, and Woodland Protectors there. You got your um, Javelin unit there. On the other side, we've got some Adunium Shadow Bows, so Rangers, essentially. We got some Narrow Narrow Royal Guard, decent archer unit. We'll head back up here first before we head down there. What do we have in the Citadel? Some Lauren Storm Masters. Ironfoot Spears, already covered that one. Already saw the Belga Pikemen too. Maybe he's got two units of them here. He does. Ironfoot Spears, some Watchers of the Golden Wood, Wooden Protectors again. Kindred of Calibron, Karas Calibron Guardians, and who else is there? Some Lauren Spearmen to finish us off. And now we do have a unit here guarding uh, Balin's Tombs and Dragon Slayers of Arid Mithrin. So, you know, when I stop the Mac there, I usually always wonder why poor Balin is not guarded, but Mac has been courteous enough to loan him his best unit there to guard the body. We have some Lauren Archers there, some Balaga Archers. Some Nurin Shield Guard, Sentinels again, no, sorry, so Sentinels there. Some Nurin Cohort, looks to be a couple units there. Belaga Archers, Spears of the Wood, we've got some Nurin Shield Guard, Belaga Footman there. And Nurin Shield Guard uh, here. Seafarers and Inmos, looks to be about two or three units there, in fact. The Royal Legion of Manalos is here. Possibly a second unit of Pharaohs and Soul Masters. And some Nurin Cohort, so the attackers really have their work cut out for them. Let's go meet some of them, hey? Which are Ruda, given by Beastie 70. G'day, Beastie. He's got some Ethelbos Strahlander Z2 units. We've got three units of Ruda Swordsman. We've got some Ruda Marksman. More Ruda Clansmen over here. These guys are armored up. They'll need that armor for sure. Dumbin Spearman. We've got some more Ruda Clansmen. Two, yep, two units total. Another unit of Marksman. And some Witch Trauma Enslavers. And the rest of his army is annoyingly hidden, probably. Some Herodan Pikemen, Herodan Berserkers, and Rudar Clansmen again, so three units of them total. There's some trolls in the distance there, who do they belong to? They belong to Angmar, commanded by Ghoul Wrangler. I don't think I've seen before, some new Ghoul, welcome to Third Age Reforged. We've got some trolls in the bad here. Some Angmar Halberds, two units there, make that three now total. Where's the rest of the army? Angmar Halberds again. Ah, here we go. Orc fellas, Guardians of Karandum, looks to be two units of that, armoured up. Engmar Marauders, another unit of Guardians. It appears another unit of Guardians anyway. So f three or four units, maybe even five units of Guardians of Karandum. I'm gonna say four. Apologies if I'm wrong. Orc fellas, looks to be two or three units there here as well. Engmar Halberds again, Witches of Engmar. We're trying Hammer Guard there, armoured. Black Watch Legion, probably the most valuable unit the attackers could bring. Even more valuable than the witches. We have Snaga Stalkers there. Looks to be maybe two units there. Maybe even three. Angmar Marauders. 
They'll need the stalkers for sure. But the attackers shouldn't send all stalkers in at once, you know, like one unit at a time. Because we know the defenders do have ranges. We know there's Doom Shadow Bows on this side as well. So, you know, as an attacker, you got to make sure you don't waste your meat shield entirely because we're going up against ranges. Your meat shield advantage is gone. They're use It's useless. So, if you want to try and have a meat shield later on to survive all the other archer units that you know the defenders have, maybe don't send all... They'll pull your chips in one attack, basically. Now, we have Orcs and Misty Mountains here coming by the Dog Eater. G'day, dog. He's got some Black Mountain Berserkers, Heavy Goblin Infantry, some Snaga Skirmishers. Gonna be some more Heavy Infantry there. Heavy Goblin Crossbows. Looks to be maybe two units of them. Well, hard to tell actually. Heavy, I've got some Goblin King's Bodyguard embedded in there as well. More Heavy Goblin Spears, Heavy Goblin Infantry, Crossbows, more Spears. Another unit of Spears. I'm not seeing any Trolls, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I would expect to see trolls here for the Orcs and Misty Mountains, so... I don't know, maybe they're still coming. Let's have a quick look and make sure we saw all the units there. Uh, let's just see more spears. Arms, that is really strange. That can't be right. Yeah, I, I definitely must have missed something. Okay, both gates have been knocked down. Now, who else do we have with us today? Uh, still more... We were, yeah, still dog-eated there, these Snuggers skirmishes. We've got Umbach and my John Od Odinson, no I think I've seen before. We've got some Harbages of Casimir. We've got some Belgar Archers here. We've got three, four units of a Corondas Legion. We've got some Belgar of Axe Guard here, two units there. Looks like Doggy is just forming his army around John's. We've got some Belgar Shield Bearers. And we've got some Belgar Pikemen over here as well. There's dogs, we've got Harad here, can buy Sauce. <laughs> G'day Sauce. He's got some South Run Archers there. Belga Shield Bearers. Bolg's Champions. Belga Pikemen. Some South Run Warband. Some Muha Beast Hunters there. And some Muha Berserkers. Just mixed in with each other. Catapult. No, in our Royal Guard. We've got some Drake Broodlings over here. Muha Berserkers. Looks to be Beast Hunters there as well. And more Berserkers, okay. Some Dismount Summer Guard here, not armoured up. Very curious that they're not armoured. Some more Beast Tamers, which is like your light tier spear, spear unit. Some Demons of the Desert, Trollman of Harad, Champions of Nafarat, and a Parchment, and a Pear Tree. Topped with the Trollman of Harad unit to finish us off. Alrighty. I think we are finished here with the army comp phase. And the battle is about to begin. Let's have a look over here. Okay, Beast is on some Dumb and Spearmen, but neither side has reacted to the breach. Alright, the attack has begun. We've got some Elven Archers starting us off. Iron Foot Axe Throwers are being called to battle already and are firing. They're firing over the heads here though, of the Heavy Goblin Spears. We've got some Belga Pikemen I thought maybe trying to be sent up, which is I think he, what he was trying to target. But the Goblin Infantry intercepted that fire there, so well done there. That was quick thinking from Dog. Now I'm half wondering if the Axe are deliberately targeting the Goblin Infantry unit. That'd be horrible if that was the case. Okay, Maka stopped firing. Good to see. Not wasting fight, not wasting ammunition. Bolt's Champions coming in for a charge, as they should. There are no spears, no pikes. These guys are fair game. Bolt's Champions pretty decent in melee. Actually, so I was lucky there not to get charged. Bulk champions do have a good charge. Now the company might do all right there. I mean, it's not like everyone's spears here are in shield wall formation. Shouldn't be able to repel them that easily. It looks like we've got the lower amount of the company thinking about doing a charge, but don't know if they're sure or not. They're forming up. Again, Mac is throwing the axes. It's not a good idea. Heavy Golden Spears are pretty much a light tier unit. Not the kind of unit you're going to waste axe throwing ammunition on. I mean, at most, I'd use light tier archers on these guys. I'd only use ammunition if there was to finish off my enemy. Not to kill the first unit I see. Looks like we've got some, we've got some javelins coming in there. 
Maybe that's where the axe throwers are going. Let's have a quick look here. I'll just pan the camera to the left a little. Snaga Skirmish is here. That's one way to go. A lot of that fire is being intercepted before it hits the Snaga Skirmishes. So far, attackers are winning this small battle. Jeez, skirmishes have some range on them, don't they? The old miners charging up. Those are the Bulls champions, they're thinking they're going in for another charge, but the old miners have tried to put a stop to that. Some of them have all been thinking about coming in, but seem a little bit unsure of themselves. Maybe they don't want to incur the ire of the Rangers. They want to try and wear the defenders down as much as they can with these, with the first wave, before they lose it. The more trips they send up, the more it prompt the defenders to use the Rangers and the catapult. And since the defenders only have a crappy unit up here, it's probably worth firing the catapult like one or two volleys in, even if it gets friendly fire. There's no real loss there for the defenders, so this is the low tier side of their army right here. So far, the attackers are overcoming the miners. I'm kind of wondering how long the defenders will let this go on for before they intervene and send up reinforcements. As far as I know, Mac only has one unit of miners to really throw away. You see, we've got movement in the background there, so these guys could just be buying the defenders time to move into whatever position they want to move in to receive the, well, maybe the first real wave of the attack. Lauren and Archers are in a very awkward position. Alright, we're sort of underway. We've done been here approaching the Belly of Footman. We got a lot of um Brita marksmen dead. It's possible the Narrow Royal Guard took him out. This isn't even poking the bear, this is just tapping the bear with a paper straw, pretty much. Probably why the defenders aren't that keen on charging him. They're happy for that unit just to fire and use up their ammunition. You know, well, we're only about one fifth of the way through this so far, and not much has actually happened. Four percent to four percent. All right. Anything going on, on this side here? We we'll have to do a break. The defenders continue to waste their ammunition here on this heavy golden spear unit. Dog Eater is really sucking a lot of ammunition away from the defenders. Skirmish is down to 104. Our Nazis have stopped firing. They don't want to risk probably hitting the Goblin infantry. I get that. Sucking skirmishes though are not moving up. Probably worth setting up the Snugger Skirmishers to throw and throw, try and throw the javelins into the halberds, the cavalry. The fan is a bit more accurate now. Then again, these are elven archers, and the elven archers tend to be more accurate than most other factions. Most other non elven factions. Okay, so boys are just forming up. You trying to let's see they're putting the goblin infantry gear just slightly out front. Yeah, 
Yep, Doggy is meat shield serving him very well. And now they're actually returning fire. They've got some of their own archers in place. Some Belliger archers from John. We've got the Alpha crossbows here firing too. Okay, Lauren and Archer's starting to go down a little bit there. Belly Grass is getting some kills. Mm, 68. Yeah, he might have to lose a few men here. Gimmis is better try and get a volley off. Come out of company. A horrible charge. Mac is better off using his wall ghost once the attackers break through the, bo the bottom level. At least he can get a charge there from the ramp direction. Alright, this is down to 54. Okay, they're firing in now. One or two javelins here or there. Or on the other side. Angmar Halberd is moving up, so Angmar's starting to send his first unit in. Diamond Spear is still holding the choke point. Okay, so Medexus appears to be in charge of this defense over here. Mac might be playing the supporting role of both sides. And I say that because I don't recall seeing too many Elven units over here. I don't know. You see some spears of the wood there. But that's all I see from Lothorin. What else is up here? The other Grances are still Numenor. Oh, Hidden's got some Lauren Arches over there. Alright. So, take it back. Looks like Max in charge of the defense over here. Read that wrong. These Belgian Rises have got to be starting to get low on ammunition. I'm just trying to find the on foot crossbows. They've got a pretty decent shield on them, so they can stand up to that fire for a very long time. Not so well against other crossbows, of course, but then again, who can? Nice hit, good hit. Could be better, just missed the sweet spot. Nice, thanks, skirmishes. I was gonna say we're getting some decent fire off. Crossbow's firing in again. 6% to 7% Well they down to 47 now Eventually someone's gonna have to commit Oh here we go It's like ghoul and beastie are the first real players of the attackers to see us off This is a decent first wave. We've got Snugger Stalkers coming in, trying to bolster the blob up here. We've got Warren Arches in place, Belliger Arches. Don't see any ranges just yet. That's great news for the attackers. As soon as you see ranges come over here, though, it might be a, an idea to pull the uh, Snugger Stalkers out of there, save them for when the ranges aren't firing in, like we talked about earlier.
What's really good for the attackers here is that they've got a lot of their army already in the fight. And so even if the rangers do fire in, at best, they'll be able to hit the troops from about this point onwards. That's at least about a couple hundred troops already in the fight that those rangers can't touch. And the mass is allowing them to push further and further forwards. Okay, Nurin's shield guard coming in. We've got a unit of Farrah's and Stormmasters already in the fight. We've got some Royal Eastern standing by as well. So right now, this is sort of like a... Um, uh, geez, what's the right word for it? A grit kind of phase. Both sides have the melee troops locked in combat. There's no javelins, there's no axles trying to pound the other side. We've got Kindred Kelbon firing in though, but then again we've got Snugger Stalkers over there now. Around the same vicinity as those Kindred Kelbon are firing. So this is a real grind. This is where the Blackwatch Legion potentially should be used at this point. And then following the Blackwatch Legion should be about two of the three or four units of Guardians of Karimdun Angmar has. Just to sort of allow the attackers to branch out and use the full space of this hall here. We've still got Belgar Archers there, Lorian Archers, and still not seeing the Rangers. Making sure. Who's that over there? Kindred Kelleborn. There's the Doom Shadow Bows, but they're not being brought up just yet. And when he does commit the Black Watch, they're going to have to run like the wind. I mean, we, we should see the Genium Shadow Bows brought up to begin firing again as soon as the Black Watch Legion makes their appearance. they got to try and rip the beating heart out of this attack before the Blackwatch Legion has a chance to get going. Now the attackers are in a good spot, but they've got to get that factor in that allows them to just break through, that allows them to just smash through this defense. They were making progress before the attack got bogged down, almost stalled now. And I think the defenders here, we're about to see a surge. They will either they will drive them back, they will destroy these guys and break them. Now I thought there was an opportunity there for the attackers to capitalize on the progress they had just made. Hopefully they can mount another assault that will allow them to get further and break through this defense. Now we're seeing a mass chain out here. Saga Stalkers broke, but they broke in an excellent position. At least they won't run away. Well, if Ghoul can't use his troops anymore, at least they'll provide his own meat shield. Oh, good shot. Straight into the Pharaohs and Swordmasters. And the Demon Shield Guard. Okay, with some spears of the wood there, trying to go out front. A fresh unit of Rudar Clansmen has come. And Blackwalds as well. So Beast is committing a large portion of his army here first. Compared to his allies. Imagine he's lost quite a bit already. 14 to 16%. Let's see how Mac is doing. That was a good attack so far. Just unlucky they couldn't capitalize on it. We've got the Black Bat Mountain Berserkers here, already at the forefront of this assault. Again, no rangers. The catapult is here. The catapult probably should be firing. I mean, this is the this is the deadliest unit in the Orcs and Miss Mountain's arsenal. Aside from trolls, but definitely Black Bat Mountain Berserkers are the unit that I at least most fear when I'm facing off against. And I, the Orcs Mountain Army. 
They're the best troops in melee combat. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anybody. And since they're all bunched up in one area, they should warrant at least one volley from the catapult, at least. I mean, they're all in a, a tight space. And Berserkers here down to 47. But of course, their fences here. Yeah, it's good to see the Berserkers in the fight. Again, a little bit of arrow fire there. Mainly because they have a slight elevation on their enemy. That's good fire from the Corsair fences. They're going to hit halberds and axe throwers. Two birds, one stone. You can see how well the Black Batman observers are carving their way through the halberds here. This is a big gamble for the Orcs and Misty Mountains to use his best unit so early. Friendly fire also helps. Oh, good shot. That catapult redeemed itself. Oh man, shield war, shield war. They've got to get through this. They've got to get through this and get across the bridge as fast as possible. Because now both sides know where the catapult can hit. Unfortunately there, the dog eater lost a lot of berserkers in that catapult volley. He's got a nice chunk of them. Putting the shield bearers in the shield wall and pushing through does the same thing as Black Watch Legion and the Black Cutter Barrow door, guys. Remember that. Night 20 to 20 percent here. It's probably important the Goblin Infantry gets in there. Sierra and Amoth Rangers still are not in position. Now, if the Rangers were over here, potentially they could, they could get a nice side shot into the attack. I think the Rangers over there on the ramp would suit better than the ramp over here in front of us. Someone needs to tell John Odinson to just push through with the shield bearers while he can. They're at 44. They could still, I think they could, I could, I think they could breach this defense here with what they have left. But that's probably as far as we'll get before they start dying and lose their momentum. So we've got mounted company for some reason, <laughs> cheering off the troops and go on, boys, round up and down the line, try and inspire the troops. Okay, I'm seeing the sound of my rangers firing. We've got Belligar Archers here in position, trying to provide some cover fire. Which is absolutely better than nothing. We've got Goblin Crossbows here, so maybe this should be where the Rangers should be firing into. They're a bigger threat than the Belligar Archers, and more importantly, they're bunched up more than the Belligar Archers. Jeez, he's sending another unit of shield bearers already. Come on, unit, shield wall formation, push guys, push. We've got Highborns at Erebor here. Mac feels like he needs to sign up his best unit to hold back the tide. Rangers aren't firing anymore. Just noting that. I think we're seeing some fire from the crossbows. Yeah, those are the bolts that are just being lobbed in right now. Half of crossbows from back on the ramp can hit from all the way back there. Jeez, who's, who do we have over here again? We've got Umba and Awesome Misty Mountains. Got like a pikeman. He might need to set up his harbors as a Casimir to go toe to toe with the highborns at Erebor. Or, at the very least, maybe the Beast Hunters to throw the Javelins in to the Highborns, you know? We've got Hunters come moving up. Berserkers standing by. It's 
so he's trying to fire him. They potentially have a have a target. I want to get over the other side in a second. Yeah, looks like he's trying to fire but can't. Says they're ready. Oh, crossbow's moving over. He might fire into them. Watches of other wood obviously firing in. Reloading, here we go. Oh, he's trying to hit them. Okay, they're trying to fire into the Armford Axtros and Armford Spears, it would seem. Reloading. Uh, struggling a little bit over here now. How we going? Okay, belly up. Pikeman, supporting the Nurin's shield guard. We have Guidance of Karen Doom, Black Walls, Rudar Swordsman in the mix here. Who else? Angmar Marauders. Yeah, but they're broken. Doom Shadow Bows are in place, but they're not firing right now, right now, so. I suppose that's a small win there for the attackers. 26 to 31, balance of forces evenly matched. Yeah, you want your black hordes on at the front, they are AP. Now on occasion we have seen the witches fire from either side into a mass blob here. Hard to know if they have a have a shot or not. Witches can be very particular and painfully annoying when it comes to trying to get them to fire. Trollstra Axos, though, have moved into place. They're reloading. Who could they fire into, I wonder? Looks like they're aiming for the front lines. If he's trying to do that, he probably should be trying to target the Gladrian Blade Masters. That fire could hit maybe all the units here. But his target probably needs to be the Balaga Pikeman. I'll try and bring them down. Very slow going. Rudar Klansman, a fresh unit. This has got to be his last fresh unit. Black was surprisingly really struggling against Numenor. But the Pike and Mine something to do with that. And they're trying to mass their troops at the front. They're trying to push their way through. Fans have been falling pretty fast. But step by step, they are moving forwards, at least for now. We still many, have many men in play. He's trying his best with the Trollstra Axos, but they just can't find the target. I 
talking about the Fares and Swordmasters. We've got Orc fellas moving up. We've got a search here from the defenders. Well, it should be big enough to warrant a fight volley from the ferret from the Udinium Shadowbows. Also, don't forget with the Seafarers and Indemos still in play. I think. I see some of them over here with their axes out. Indicating they've used all the javelins here already. This unit hasn't though, so, you know, I suppose that's a bonus. But one of them has used their ammunition. They're out. Thirty-one to thirty-six. All right. Now we got over here. And the defenders are still hanging on. Highborn's airborne. Kind of led a small surge here from the defenders and they've pushed the attackers back up halfway on the hill. And eventually, those defenders should come to the crossbows, you'd have to think. More berserkers moving to the front. Where the hell are the rangers? Not here, obviously. Source trying to let you also swarm, swarm the highborns out of there and drive the defenders back. Jeez. They hit the heart of the attack. They broke the Goblin Spears, so they're gone. Belga Pikeman, gone. Most of the attackers here in the line are gone. Watch this, using their ammunition. About halfway done so far. Bogs champions making an appearance for some reason. Belgic Axe Guard. A very valuable unit to be brought up into battle. A Coronel's Legion. I also haven't seen them yet. Let me brought up. Let's take a few casualties though. Axe Guard is trying to target the Bogs champions. Yeah, team seems a bit of friendly fire there. I actually got airball being brought up. Jeez, that's some like three crunches right there. Oh shoot. No, no other units there. Three big crunches. What are the highborns up to? Highborns down to 25. Axel is probably being used a little prematurely. The angle isn't great for them. Oh, that, oh, jeez, friendly fire, really, really bad friendly fire. Oh, they needed a good hit after that mess, and they got it. Jeez, that was two bad shots, two really, really bad shots. Took out a lot of his own elites there. Another good hit.
Jeez. My bones are all out the way down to now. 13. So pretty much wiped out half of them. Rangers are firing in again. We got the Royal Narrow no, no Royals there, firing on the same MRT Rangers down to 23, so they're taking heavy casualties themselves. Okay, who these guys are gonna fire into, I wonder. He's dropping like flies. Now they're firing into the Axe Edibor. I wonder if the Bulk's champions are running interference there for Source. You'd have to think some of those javelins are, are hitting the top of the hill because that's some fairly de decent fire. Most of the javelins are clearing it. That'd be enough for me to keep throwing. Only half the enemy force remains. A little bit of miscommunication there. Now, Doggy did that because it was a downhill charge. It looked very attractive, but the Beast Hunters there were getting some decent fire there. It probably wasn't right for the Bulk Champions to sort of interrupt that. Alright, okay, I got him on the other side. And we're not still holding. Game Shadowbirds are firing in now. Well, we should definitely stall the attack. Okay, he's got to conserve their ammunition. Yeah, Medexa did a good job there. He, he fired in a few volleys and then stopped. Frasm Stormasters have been fighting for a very long time. And they're down to 32, so they haven't lost too many. But Ruda Axman, though, they are AP. Good shock. Did they just break? Yep, they did. You reckon the witches right now should be placed either side? So in the event that we see a mass chain route here, it should enable the witches to fire directly into the defensive line, potentially getting hundreds of kills. And more importantly, creating a nice big hole for the attackers to stream through into Moria on this side. I'm just trying to sneak around over there, so I'm not... no, it looks like Ethan was, it looks like Ethan was troll hunters. It is. There's another unit of black walls. Forty two, two fifty two. We've seen some pretty decent offensives so far. But the attackers still haven't been able to find that golden opportune moment to break through either side just yet. Oh, 
these. Sorry about that. Blackwell's now leading the attack. They're pretty much by themselves here. This is just sort of standing by. Okay, let's have a look at the, at the missiles that I have left. I know the bugger ice is still. Okay, Warren and Axman, they're not archers. Okay, Shadowbows is starting to fire in again. Got a bunch of Angmar Marauders there, they're gonna get caught out. Little guy still has ammo. Some drag Broodlings have entered the city. War Goats have arrived to challenge them. The attack over here has made decent progress. Troll Navarad appear to have either arrived or almost gone. Yeah, the two. Okay, so they're almost gone. Ooh. Hang on. My lord, only half our force remains. Because <laughs> you killed some of them. More like beast hunters. Heavy got heavy got infantry were over a hundred when they broke just now because of that catapult. Bellic of Axe Guard also broken. And geez, what were they at? 13. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, bolts going in are better than nothing. Probably needs to shoot at the reinforcements, the wooden protectors. Probably need to target them more than anything else. These guys here at 87. We've got snow trolls, so he does have trolls after all. Okay, they're aiming for the reinforcements, the Eiffel Warriors. They should have been firing on the Woodland Protectors, you'd have to think. Alright, let's see where they shoot next. Nope. No Sun Trolls going down just yet. Judging from that fire, you'd have to think they're targeting the Moab Beast, or well, the Moab Berserkers, and not the Snow Trolls. That's sounding pretty good. God, we've got Snugger, we've got Snugger skirmishes like firing in there. Ooh, that's a lot of troops. Ah, oh, catapult returning fire. Oh, that seemed like a hit. No, oh, looks like all three are still active. Oh, 
Uh, haven't got the spears broken though yet. Over a hundred. Fifty-three to sixty-six. Have any other side? It's almost trying this here. Had an opportunity to fire. And they get themselves into guard mode. Guys, as not so much as appear finally on the way out. Shield guard getting ready to go back in. Now the end of all fellas being brought up. Trolls yet to be committed yet on that side. Okay, defenders are pretty desperate actually to hold the attackers back here. Kendra Kelleborn firing in. That's a pretty small target there for the Kendra Kelleborn to hit. Southron Archers being brought up. They've still got their ammunition. Demons of the Desert being targeted. Gotta try moving closer to that catapult. Come on, Source. Down to 42, so they lost 13. What's he trying to do with the catapult, I wonder? Okay, I think he's just retreating the Southron Archers. The Cronus Legion is looking a little bit weak. The elves and the wolves continue to gain ground. Roughly 14,000 frames left. Okay, tag is firing back. What are they trying to hit? Got some dead, uh, some dead Kendrick Calibron. So one fight there. Could be good. Ooh, just missed. How unlucky is that? Too short. Blacklock engineers getting ready to fire. But they wouldn't have the angle, I, don't, I wouldn't think. Oh, they killed the general! Nah, that's no real loss there for Lothorian. It's bad, but it's not the worst. The wars are in a similar boat. But, you know, if the general's going to expose himself like this, then maybe I should try and take him out. Seven's fangs firing in now too. Well, uh, nice shot. 
perhaps our chances of victory. Two generals in two minutes. No, Seven's Fangs do deal a bit of damage. Tankers bring a bit of firepower here to bear. We got a lot of Blacklocks though. Winding up. Okay, they're pulling back. They're not firing. Um, Fodaxo is being sent up. And the Dragon Slayer is being brought down. So Balan just lost his Tomb Guard. Sixty-four to seventy-six. These look like the pleated units that have come back to the battle. Oh, that looked good. That did look good. Nice hit. Good hit. I don't know if the Goblin King's bodyguard had been sent in just yet. Bulk's champions have managed to get through. So they're going to they're go and say hi to the catapult. Got watch out for those stakes though. Oh no, they're not, not going to go for the catapult. Jeez, that was a huge missed opportunity to take out that catapult. The charges just aren't working for him. Attack is amassing again. Catapult could have been taken out, potentially. Alright, so Admiral Strand is there. Targeting some Belgar archers. They're desperate to get some kills, any kills, it would seem. If they're doing that. I just want to check briefly. I'm looking for the Royal Legion of Amenalos. Okay, they haven't been committed just yet. Seafarer is getting to position. So, what I was wondering is if it's a good time when to send in the Witcher on Hammer Guard. But given that the Seafarer is moving into position and the Royal Legion is not committed, the attackers are probably better off holding them back until the Seafarers have added, added, added out of ammunition and the Royal Legion has been committed. Here named Pikeman being sent up. So this is all the good quality stuff they've got now. And then Pikes here should be the driving force they need to get through this and begin pushing back against the defenders. Mm -hmm. The attackers are starting to push the defenders back a little bit, step by step.
pipemen do appear to be helping a great deal to move the attackers forwards. Great number Berserkers, you can see they're being brought up. So they're being targeted. Reloading. You can't get a shot. Those are witches. Yeah, witches are at full strength, so. And trolls are good about also being committed. Obviously, they're all dead. Well, we missed that one. Okay, here are them berserkers. Who are they targeting? Okay, they're that determined to wipe out this unit, Balagar Archers. Not good if I know why. Seafarers have their axes out. These guys here don't. It's possible Modexus is trying to confuse the attackers to make them think he's used all of his seafarers in the ammunition. So the attackers could commit a large portion of their elites and then he can send up to his seafarers to throw his javelins into them. These are a bunch of good quality troops. Okay. The attackers are across the bridge of Kazarum and are almost at the citadel. Doom Shadowbows out of ammunition. It looks like they've got a couple of attacking units heading this way. Dragon Slayers are going to be part of that defense, so not an easy task for the attackers either side. Well, it looks like you've got three healthy units here of our Coronas Legion and that's a good thing. The world... No, no, Royal Guard need to be sent up to. Harbinger's cast me Yes, he needs them. Like a pikeman down to about half strength, exhausted too, so he needs to rest them before he sends them into battle. They could break on him very quickly if he's not careful. Got four draw miners to receive him. Like that, yeah, four there, one there. We've got some alpha crossbows. This isn't much of an opposition. Like, where are the dragon slayers? Okay, they're there. Well, Umbar's got to swarm through here, get to those crossbows as quickly as they can. Here they come, led by the Royal Guard. Okay, here come the crossbows. Can they get there in time? Maybe. Not that bad. They ran the gauntlet and got in there just in time. Now they got the catapult to worry about as well. Uh, the catapult could be a big problem. I'm a little bit surprised the catapult isn't at the top of the ramp here, firing into the blob of troops trying to push their way through here. Demons of the desert reloading, they're trying to fire. The demons need to be brought around the other side, I reckon. They don't have a shot there, they're useless there. The demons here could take out potentially the Iron for Crossbows, the Dragon Slayers of Eric Mithrin. They would have space to fire on the other side. They shouldn't be over here, they need to be over there, attacking Balan's tomb right now. So I suppose the defenders are very fortunate that the demons are here instead of there. Okay, Dog Eaters General here at the front. Got the Goblin King's bodyguard being committed to the battle. 
Now we have it here. Okay, here comes the Blackwatch Legion. Ooh, a little bit of friendly fire there. Which has been run out. Okay. Yeah, he's trying to target the witches. Random Berserk has been committed. The religion of Mel is finally committed. And which one happens we also see are in the fight. Which one Slave is also in the fight. 7,000 frames left. 82 to 87. And we're not going for a big push here on their right flank. Which one hammer guard in place? Most of them are on the left flank too. Should be able to repel that push there from the Royal Legion. But they're in berserkers also pressing them against the walls. Hard to know when the witches will be brought up. The attackers are starting to push it more into the defenders here. Defenders starting to lose a little bit of cohesion in their line. Good news for the defenders is it doesn't look like the witches really have a shot right now. So at least the witches can't be used in the defenders case. 86 to 89. The rise of the golden wood. They're going to try and get some charges in, most likely, once this line falls. Which it looks like we are not too far away from seeing. Okay, we've got some white orc fearmongers there from Dog Eater. I haven't seen too many forces from Dog Eater of late. Okay, Source here tried to get his demons of the desert so he could fire them, but Wadex is having none of it. He's trying to intercept him and force him back. Source should not be charging the demons through. He has no support for him. This is where we should see the defenders scrambling to shut him down. Now if they're in guard mode, they should be able to fight. Or well, should be able to fire. Well, not a bad shot there from the catapult. Phrasm Stormmaster is moving to finish them off. Source could lose all these demons here if he's not careful. He's got to run them back through that to save what's left of them. Catapult here. Does it still have ammunition? No. The champions of Nafrat have managed to get into their ranks. And they're also taking out the Ironfoot crossbows as well. We've got Karaskal and Guardians here pushing on the left flank. They're being surrounded by Umbar. We've got Kindred of Celeborn trying to fire into them and push them back. Kindred of Celeborn can move themselves into a better position if they wanted to. And they probably should. Umbar's at risk of losing his general here. He's exposed completely to the Kindred of Celeborn. Of course, they're desperate to surround the Chaos Calm Guardians. It's the easiest way to destroy the unit. The 
Kenny Kendrick moving around. Where are they going? Who are they going to kill? I don't know what they're doing. Seems like they had good, they had good targets into Umba or Harad there. I don't know what Hidden's up to. Hey, Max Catholic managed to get going again. Well done, boy. Ninety six to ninety two. Grabs and saw masters down to twenty five. This is my seven set broken. Okay, can you do the caliber one? Is being ignored by the champions of Nafarat. But is that desperate? The champions need to attack the Kindred from the back. Okay, I think that was the dog eaters general there. Like a carpet of dead or current that's leading before the Karas Kalan Guardians. Champions here down to eight. Oh no, that's a dog eaters general. Whose general was that before? Guardians are still at 43. Okay. They're still pretty healthy. In fact, Umba could lose this fight. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Riders and Kindred here trying to keep the Chaos Guardians alive. What are we going over here? The demons here down to 9. Still have ammunition. The attackers are inside the Citadel. Are we through here yet? It's looking promising, yes. It looks like indeed we are through. Who's marching up here? The Belga Pikeman? They're broken though. Bruda Marksman down to 10. Some Hell Guard 34. Witches of Angmar here, okay, that's what I was looking for. At 10. Less than 2,000 frames to go. Rasen down to four here. Now John Odinson's attack might fail here, but he kept Lothorian occupied enough. And you know, hats off to Lothorian. I think Lothorian might be able to finish off Umba here. He held off three full units of Alcarnas Legion and some Royal Guard. Ninety-eight to ninety-five. Ruddy close. The players are being defeat. I didn't think they were shot anymore. There were too many friendlies in the way. Mumbai's general's gone. Yuruda got here almost too late. We have three of Crime Dust there, five there, four here, three, five, four. And that's about 12. And Demon's here. 
which is very nice. Also, and Demons of the Desert seems to be finishing off their foes. I think they killed the last of the Akarnas Legion as well. And the witch is moving up. There you go. Oh, I took out most of them. We're finished. There must be surviving trips in the centre somewhere. Yeah, there is. What a great, close, grindy kind of fight. Still, it was very entertaining. Well done to John Odinson on 582. The Dog Eater, 1214. Beastie, 70, 1209. Ghoul Wrangler, 812. Source, 821. Mac, 2958. Podexis, 2665. Hidden, 2843. Okay, kill counts, here we go. Blackhawk Engineers, 188. Not the best for them. I for Crossbows did exceptionally well. Ranging from 161, two of them getting over 200 kills, 218, 234. Catapult did a phenomenal job here on 714, gained less experience somehow, okay. Iron for, Iron for Axos, each got over 100 kills there. Hybrids Airborne, 371. Uh, the Wolven Miners here did alright on 102, they got more than the Halberts. Not more than the Miners. The rest of the did not as good, but um, yeah, standard performance was the Catapult. They might have got some of their own troops there that count as a kill, so. A little bit unfortunate there for Mac, but still, great battle. Well done to the attackers though for their victory. That was a hard-fought victory, so they deserve it. If you want to see your own replay video on this channel, guys, once again, you can send them directly to me on the Discord via direct message. My email at scoutsentertainment at gmail.com. Joining my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance. It'll be a privilege to have you. Look forward to seeing you there. You can post your replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel, or tag me in any third Age Reforged replay you'd like to see on this channel as well. Once again, this is Mika on behalf of Scouts and Lieutenant signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War battle.